Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers and this morning I'm looking at a book from Edward Elgar Publishing Limited, which is a family firm of publishers dealing mainly with the high end of the academic market. And this book is in their research handbook series. This one is the research handbook on the economics of labour and employment law, edited by Cynthia L. Estlund and Michael L. Watchter. You can gather by the spelling of labor as opposed to labor that uh, it has an American twang to it. This is the book itself. Let's just show you the front cover. You can see what it says there and it, it is actually a re research handbook in law and economics series. Um, the series editor being Richard A. Posner and Francesco uh, Parisi. That's the back of the book. We've written a detailed review, which I'm not going to go into uh, today, because uh, you can read the review at your leisure. It's got 500 pages. That's the index at the back. Then there's a huge amount of research material, because obviously it's a research handbook. The structure is slightly different, because, for instance, you've got not paragraph numbering here, but, but letters, um, as, um, which try to sort of structure the articles. There is no footnoting as such um, in the book. There's quite a lot of tables, for instance, again to give you quite substantial information. Then at the front of the book, that's actually the front showing the, the series itself and showing the title, then you, then you go from there into the contents, which I'll show you. Obviously the trade union's figure, collective bargaining, then you've got uh, in the four pages, that's collective uh, uh, sorry, concluding perspectives. Then you've got the list of contributors, and there are a large number of people involved in this, as you can see. Then structure is foundations to start with, which goes into the, with the introduction, which I think is of great assistance for those who are involved in employment law matters, both nationally and internationally, because this will give you a feel for what is happening. We've given it a review. My wife and I have written this review and we've given it the title Economics and Employment Law Stateside Opinion and Analysis. And that's what you've got. As I said, you can tell from the seventh word of the title, this book is American and deals with the various symbiotic links between law and economics pertaining to labour and employment legislation stateside. The I think the important thing to bear in mind with this is that the book is a compilation of 16 learned articles from 17 top academics, all of whom, including the two editors, are experts in their field. Um, the two editors refer to the integration of these two disciplines, i.e. law and economics, of having evolved over more or less the last 30 years with roots in Roosevelt's New Deal in the 1930s. The book, I think, is a very important point, starting point for, for many people who are looking at this area, both from a legal and an economics perspective. It certainly offers interesting perspectives on employee-employer relationships, often a fraught and politically diverse subject, which a uh, div divisive subject, I should say, which is why you should read it. It's also, of course, a diverse area too. The extensive footnoting, which is actually in the referencing and the detailed index, provide any number of avenues for further research, and it's very much in the standard of Elgar's publications. I'd like to thank all the people involved for this book. It's a useful uh, statement of where we're moving towards with employment law. So thank you. Bye-bye.